Hello everyone out there. Thanks for continuing to check out our channel. In this video, we want to share with you something that we feel is immensely important regarding the times we are living in and the worldwide events that are unfolding at an increasingly rapid pace. If you know anything about the Great Tribulation spoken of by Jesus in what is known as the Olivet Discourse, found in Matthew 24, Mark 13, and Luke 21, you know that it sounds like a horrible event that you would want nothing more than to be spared from the possibility of having to endure such a catastrophic scenario. Well, guess what? According to two major theological interpretations of Scripture, you won't have to ever experience the Great Tribulation. Whew! Thank God, right? One of these views is the common pre-tribulation rapture doctrine that is taught in nearly every evangelical church today. The simplest way to describe this view, held by most professing Christians, is that no believer in Christ will be around to experience such a terrible affair. They'll be raptured away right before the Great Tribulation begins. Another theory regarding the end times prophecy that is also growing in popularity is what is known as preterism. To define preterism in a nutshell is simply this. Most of the events that people commonly think of relating to the end times, like the coming Antichrist, the Mark of the Beast, and the Great Tribulation, are all past events, which occurred in 70 AD with the destruction of the Jewish Temple in Jerusalem by the Roman army. The underlying thread between these two positions relating to the end times can be summed up in this way. We don't have to concern ourselves at all with this nonsense of preparing to go through some very difficult times that some crazy people believe are right around the corner. The preterist stance is this. Relax. It already happened long, long ago. Just get back to the business of enjoying this life. The pre-tribulationist argues, just believe in Jesus and he'll take you out at just the right time. Again, enjoy your best life now and be glad that you are chosen to avoid any suffering for following Jesus. Wow, aren't those comforting ideas? No wonder they're both extremely popular in Christian circles. We would absolutely love it if either of these ideas were true. We certainly don't want to go through the Great Tribulation, prophesied by Jesus himself, and which is also a major theme in the book of Revelation. Although both of these theological approaches, preterism and pre-tribulation, have a number of seemingly convincing arguments for their side, we have to conclude that overall, the people who subscribe to these theories are really just interested in looking for a convenient doctrine that assures them that suffering is always meant for someone else, primarily Jews. But what if they are wrong? What if we should be preparing spiritually to face some very troubling times ahead of us in the very near future? If we're wrong, hallelujah. It'll be smooth sailing from now until our time on earth is up. However, if they are wrong, then everyone who believes in these doctrines will be in for a horrific surprise. So what do you think makes the most sense? Preparing for the worst but hoping for the best? Or assuming that we don't have to even consider the possibility that we might have to endure to the end to be saved? We find it exceedingly strange that most of the people in the modern church cannot face the growing evidence that Jesus may call on them to suffer or even die for their faith, as countless other Christians have done throughout the centuries. There's almost nothing we can say here that will change the minds of those committed to the preterist view or the pre-tribulation rapture teaching. Our goal is not to even engage in the debate with those who hold dogmatically to these doctrines. There are plenty of other websites and forums and YouTube channels that you can go to to argue about these issues until the end of time. What we are most interested in is reaching those of you who know that something very big is going to happen and that we will be here to witness all of it. We'll leave it to the others to argue with one another over various proof texts and pointless theological musings. We are beginning to prepare now to live as outcasts in a system that will swallow up the others, whether they believe it or not. When something as undeniable as the mark of the beast, which will be the only means of buying and selling and holding any job in the system, becomes a reality right before our eyes, then it will be clear to the whole world what is really going on. We have a documentary video on this channel called The Mark that we would strongly encourage you to watch and see for yourselves how the technology is already here, beyond question. There has never in all of history, especially in the year 70 AD, been such a possibility of controlling every person on earth with a currency that is completely electronic and that is able to be implanted under the skin. 
that shoots a massive hole in the preterist position. Of course, most pre-tribulation proponents would agree with our assessment of the coming mark of the beast. They just convince themselves that as long as they have, quote, accepted Jesus as the Lord and Savior, they are saved from any hardship as a result of their faith. If you want to believe in the fairy tales offered to you by your Bible scholars, your pastors, or your own desires, that's up to you. But if you want to connect with those of us who are keenly aware that we need to do something right now, then we'd love to hear more from you. If you have any thoughts you would like to share with us, please email us at the address listed in the description below. We also want to add a huge thank you to all of our subscribers. A special thanks to everyone who has been helping us to get our channel off the ground. We cannot tell you how much all your support means to us. We hope that you, too, are a subscriber and that you'll continue to see Christ's teachings in your own radically new life. Much love to everyone from us at RNL. Bye-bye.